What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Strings and Gale. From the last video I posted on my YouTube channel, I have been talking about how to make a vibrato on the violin. Today, I'm going to be sharing an important skill that you should know because this will serve as the main foundation to play music and it's about how to read notes and play violin at the same time. At the end of this video, you will be able to play the song Jingle Bells. But before we proceed to the exciting part, let's learn how to read notes. Reading music is seem to be very difficult at the beginning, but I will make it easier for you to understand. Once you get it, with practice, you will be able to master it so easy. So without further ado, let's get started. We have the so-called music stop, which is consisted of five lines and four spaces. These lines and spaces can be extended, whether it's on the bottom part or on the top part of the regular five line stop, it can be extended because it's infinite. But for some reason, we have been using the five lines music stop in order to read notes easier. Traditionally, for the notes that are lower and above the regular music stop, we always use a ledger line in order to determine the pitch or the tone of a certain note. Each line and space on the musical stop indicates a certain pitch or a musical tone, which can also be identified as Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, and Do, which is also familiar to us as the sofa syllables or the octave scale. Look at the picture. The first line of the music stuff on the bottom part is the E or Mi. The second line is the G or Sol. The third line is the B or E. The fourth line is the high D or Re. And the fifth line is the high F or Fa. Now what about the spaces? The first space on the bottom part is what we call the low F or Fa. The second space is the A or La. The third space is the high C or Do. And the fourth space is the high E or Mi. As I mentioned earlier, these lines and spaces are infinite. It can be extended. That's why we have pitches from below and above the regular music stuff. For example, we also have the low D or Re on the space below the first line of the music stuff on the bottom part. And we also have the low C or Do below the D or Re note. For the Do note below the music stuff, we always use a larger line in order to determine that it's the C or the Do note. This is the Do Re Mi scale on the music stuff and how you are going to play it on your violin. time, let's talk about the different basic kinds of notes. We have whole note, which has four beats. We have half note, which has two beats. And we have quarter note, which has one beat. What do we mean by beat? The beats of the note will tell us how long its sound will last. Let's talk about the whole note first. Whole note has four beats or four counts. Take a look on the music sheet below. We have whole note on Fa. We have whole note on Sol. We have whole note on La. We have whole note on T. And we have whole note on High, C, or Do. Now each of the whole notes has four counts or four beats. That's why I'm going to play it with four beats each. Now listen carefully so that you would be able to know what I mean by this. I'm going to start playing the whole note from Fa 
until I reach the DO note. I'm going to count four counts. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, play. One, two, three, four. 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 What about half note? Half note has two beats or two counts. Now take a look on the music sheet below. We have two half notes on Sol. We have two half notes on T. We have two half notes on La. We have two half notes on Sol. And we have two half notes on Fa. Now each of half note has two counts. Now I'm going to play it so that you will understand what I mean by this. Now I'm going to play from Sol to Fa. I'm going to count two counts each. One, two, one, two, play. One, two, 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 one, two. What about quarter note? Quarter note has one beat or one count. Now, take a look on the music sheet below. We have four quarter notes on Mi. We have four quarter notes on Sol. We have four quarter notes on Do. We have four quarter notes on T. And we have four quarter notes on La. Each of the quarter note has one count. One. One, 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 one. Now I'm going to play it so that you will understand what I mean by this. I'm going to start from me until I reach the la note, la quarter notes. One, 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 one. one. The more beats the note has, the longer the sound will last. The lesser the beats the note has, the shorter the sound will last. Now let's put our knowledge into practice by playing the song Jingle Bells. Well done guys, I know you are doing your best, just keep on practicing, just keep on believing in yourself because one day you will be there. <laughs> I hope you have learned a lot from me, it was very fun and easy, isn't it? Just keep on practicing, you will get it, you will be there. Right, so 
If you have questions or things to clarify, just comment or follow or message me on my social medias just right here. <laughs> also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more violent tutorials. Bye for now and see you on my next video.